Hello guys, welcome to Better Artist. My name is Abhinandan and in this video tutorial course, I am going to teach you how to create virtual staging from scratch. But before we go into learning virtual staging, let us first understand what virtual staging is and why is it important for you to learn virtual staging. What is virtual staging? Virtual staging is nothing but a process in which you place virtual 3D furniture into a photograph of a real estate property. It can be a photo of a living room, a bedroom, a patio, or an outdoor backyard dining with a barbecue area. Why is virtual staging important? Before virtual staging, real estate agencies used traditional staging with real furniture for staging an empty apartment and took photographs to list and sell properties online. This process was very time consuming and expensive as they had to spend a lot of money on furniture rent till the property was sold. Virtual staging on the other hand is very inexpensive and is less time consuming. The client can choose any type of furniture and try multiple options to see which type of furniture works best for the property, which gives a lot of flexibility and assurance to the client without any hassle. Why is virtual staging important for a 3D artist? The most important reason for learning virtual staging for any 3D artist is its scale. Every year, thousands of properties are built and listed online for sale. And every single property undergoes virtual staging before getting listed online. As long as new properties are built, there will be a need of virtual staging. In other words, if you learn virtual staging, you will always have work. Virtual staging is easy to learn and create, which makes it easy money. So, if you are working in a company, you can do virtual staging for extra side income. And if you are a freelancer, then you must definitely do it along with your other projects. Now that you know what virtual staging is, let us find out the software that we are going to use in this course in order to learn virtual staging. Minimum requirements. You need to have a basic understanding of 3ds Max, its user interface and its modeling tools. However, you can use any 3D software for creating virtual staging that you already know. But for this course, we will be using 3ds Max. You need to have a basic understanding of V-Ray render engine, its render setup, how to create basic material or shader, and how to use lights in V-Ray. You need to have a basic understanding of Photoshop as we will be using it for enhancing the image and editing if necessary. Now that you know the software that we are going to use for this course, if you do not know these softwares, I suggest you go ahead and watch some basic tutorials of this software so that you have a basic understanding of how this software function. If you already know this software, let's just go and see what this course has to offer to you and what you're going to learn in this course. In chapter 1, I'm going to show you how to set up 3ds Max for virtual staging. In chapter 2, I'm going to show you how to match camera for virtual staging. In chapter 3, I am going to show you how to find references for virtual staging. In chapter 4, we are going to learn how to merge 3D models inside of 3ds Max. In chapter 5, we are going to do basic lighting setup with V-Ray in 3ds Max. In chapter 6, we will learn how to fix textures and make materials in 3ds Max. In chapter 7, we are going to tweak everything and finalize on the overall look and feel of our 3D render. In chapter 8, I am going to show you how to render our scene and do post production in Photoshop. Now you know what you are going to learn in this course. So, 
let's just go into the chapter one where i'm going to teach you how to set up 3ds max for virtual staging i'll see you in chapter one